first met David Bowie in the private room of a restaurant, the Ivy, <laughs> um, to drop the name in. It was my first dinner as a member of the editorial board of Modern Painters magazine, a very serious intellectual magazine. And so I found myself sitting beside David Bowie, of all people. We were both the two new boys on the editorial board that night, and so both, I think, equally nervous because the other people around the table were professors of art history, eminent art critics. He was an intellectual, a polymath in a way, and he was obviously passionate about painting. And I think that's why he went into the modern painter's experience. It was part of his self-education. Karen Wright, the editor of Modern Painters, threw the question into the room, how do I get fiction into a, a fine art magazine? And I stuck my hand up and said, why don't I invent a painter? And I wrote this kind of pseudo biography of this American painter, Nat Tate, who committed suicide in 1960, having destroyed 99% of his work, which is why nobody's ever heard of him. And then Bowie said, you know, why don't we publish it as a little book? He wrote the blurb of the book in which he claimed to own a Nat Tate and set up the launch party in Manhattan in Jeff Koons' studio, April Fool's Day, 1998. The place was packed. Who wouldn't go to a, a David Bowie party in Jeff Koons' studio? He read three extracts from the fake biography, uh, Deadpan, and in the book I've got Gore Vidal remembering Nat Tate, John Richardson, Picasso's biographer, saying yes, I introduced him to Picasso. So there's a very elaborate uh, air of reality about it. One of the other conspirators went around the room asking questions about Nat Tate. And of course, people being people said, you know, isn't it a shame? What a tragedy. Yes, I think I remember that Philadelphia show, etc., etc. And then the hoax was blown wide open a few days later. I think we we're all a bit overwhelmed at the kind of uh, ripple effect of it. Because it became a 24-hour news event, its detonation, I think, is entirely down to the fact that Bowie was the publisher and this glittering party made everybody believe in it. But it just shows people love that sense of mischief which lies behind all hoaxes. Let's make self-important people look stupid. You know, and I think that's what motivated us and motivated him. Mm -hmm.